Hello everyone, my name is Simon and I would like to welcome you to today's webinar titled Study Urban Studies and Planning at the University of Helsinki in Finland. And during today's webinar, you will learn more about the university in general. It's the oldest and largest university in Finland and it has repeatedly been ranked among the world's top universities. Of course, you'll get to know more about the Urban Studies and Planning Master's program and why you should choose a joint program of the University of Helsinki and the Aalto University as your study destination. You will also learn what is special about Helsinki and how collaboration with the city of Helsinki and other city administrations during your studies will help you to gain a broad understanding of urban phenomena and practical experiences needed to successfully compete for local and international positions. And of course, you will also hear about the much needed information on how to apply. And without further ado, it is time to meet today's presenters. And firstly, I would like to introduce uh, Mari Vatovara, Program Director, and Kimo Lapintie, who is the Professor of Urban and Regional Planning with the Alto University. Welcome, guys. Hello, welcome. Thank you very and much. Thanks. Yeah. It's a pleasure having you in the session. And also joining us from a different location from Helsinki, we have the Admissions Advisor, and her name is uh, Lena Rintala. Welcome, Lena. And thank you, Simon. Hello, everybody. I will tell you about uh, how to apply to the university uh, a little bit later on. Thank you very much to all three for being present, taking your time to share the much needed information with the audience. And I'm sure, Mari, that the audience that has joined would prefer to hear more from you rather than to hear me speak. So without further ado, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Simon. Um, so, hello again, everyone. I'm Mari Vatovara, the chair of the program or the head of the program, and uh, sitting here next to Kimmo, who is the vice chair. And uh, we are happy to share you, I would say, our dream come true, the first uh, uh, and very new urban studies and planning program uh, coming from Finland. And uh, as Simon just said, it's a joint program between the two greatest universities in Finland, the old establishment of University of Helsinki, where I come from as a professor of urban geography and uh, also holding a degree in landscape architecture, and uh, the Aalto University, which is the, the technical design planning architecture university uh, named after a great Finnish architect. Um, uh, what I would like to say also in addition, in, in addition to the introduction and to the big university players that there is, is that this new program, although it's very new and starting, is based on a very long term collaboration of uh, our scholars from very different fields. So I think we've been able to get the best experts to to provide the new type of uh, master's program. And we also collaborate very closely uh, with the cities, as you probably saw in our uh, video. Uh, we had the mayor of Helsinki and all the top officials that will join us in, in this program, both by teaching as well as discussions to, to challenge our teaching in in uh, urban urban studies maybe okay Put okay welcome very nice to have you online uh, my name is Kimo Lapinti I'm a professor of urban regional planning so as Marie is professor of urban geography she didn't mention it <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the idea uh, the basic idea is actually very simple we have a lot of uh, urban studies research uh, which is done in, in the University of Helsinki, then we have more practical research and, and uh, skills which are taught in, in Aalto University, like urban planning, urban design, architecture, design, and, and also technical uh, sciences. So, so the idea is very simply how to, to really to combine the two, so knowledge and action, so in order to create possibilities for, for you as students in the future to to be the experts in urban development. That's right. And then maybe we'll 
will move on. So a few words uh, from my university, which is the old, as was introduced, among the top performing universities in the world. It's uh, close to 400 years, um, very multidisciplinary, and we have four faculties joining this program with uh, full energy, I would say, and the rest of the faculties are keen on joining as well. We'll see as we proceed whether and, and which ones will, will join into certain fragments of these master's programs. Um, uh, we, it's it's big university, the building that you see down, down behind uh, the text is in the main square of the city, uh, 36,000 uh, students and 8,500 uh, people uh, working as a staff in our, our old established uh, uh, university. Okay, whereas Alta University is not as old actually, it's very, very uh, young considering when it was established in 2010. Uh, on the other hand, it's based on, on three uh, older universities with long experience, one in technical sciences and one in, in, in business and one in, in art and design. And these three universities were combined to form Aalto University. As I said, it was uh, named after Alvar Aalto, who is a famous architect and designer. And, and uh, the idea is really to try to change the world or uh, address problems which are uh, important globally and also locally. And, and we are not so, uh, not uh, about perhaps half, half uh, of the size of Helsinki University, 20,000 students and, and, uh, and the staff which about uh, 4,500 4, and, and out of it uh, 400 are professors. So uh, this is about, uh, and this is a very international university already. So about 30% of, of this uh, stuff is already international. That's right, that's right. Uh, Helsinki uh, doesn't look like it looks now, right now, like it looks in the picture. We've just ha got um, almost uh, 40 centimeters of snow, so we will be shuffling our cars or bikes out uh, uh, from the snow once this webinar. You can uh, already go skiing. Oh, yes, like. that's right. You can go skiing. So after shuffling the car uh, out of the snow, you can start skiing. But um, uh, you can read all all uh, things about this uh, city, which uh, is uh, the city of Helsinki is about 500,000 people in this uh, city region. There are about uh, 1,400,000 people living. I think it's important to remember that we are the birthplace or the hometown of Angry Birds. And um, previously, uh, also the Nokia cell phones. So we are not only a old traditional welfare state with a very high social security, small income differences, fast growth, uh, and at the same time fast uh, change of population to be more and more cult multicultural. So I would say that all the urban phenomena that we can read about can be uh, seen throughout the window if you are interested in empirical analysis of what's going on in in the city. But on, on in that addition of being an old traditional welfare state, we also are very modern, one of the most innovative, one of the most livable, one of the uh, most technically driven cities where, for instance, the use of public transportation is among the highest in Europe. Mm. And uh, nowadays, uh, the citizens are also very eager to use the space, as you can see from the picture, but also there are uh, events like the restaurant day, everybody's sort of putting up uh, pop-up restaurants all over the city, and this is a phenomenon that's gone, gone on global nowadays. And, and also they are using social media a lot to organize all, all kinds of events and also to participate in, in urban development and planning. 
That's right. And I think for all possible planning events, you can easily gather interested people mm -hmm. to to join in. Uh, in practical research, uh, if you send a survey, the response rate in Finland is still among the highest. So people are really keen to cooperate and to, they, they really trust that their opinions are taken seriously, which I think also can be seen with the nice, um, easy, low hierarchies in a Nordic welfare state where we actually do reach the ministries as well as the, as the key players in the city from the university to really uh, open new possibilities and discussions for urban planning and, and research for the more livable cities. So why urban studies, why focus on urban? Kim, mm -hmm. what would you well, like to? Well, of course, as we know, uh, the world is becoming more and more urban. So our, more than half of the population all already are living in cities and the process uh, is going on, also in Finland, also in Helsinki. And we, as, as we know, cities are uh, centers of innovation and, and economic activity and also cultural activities, but they also have a lot of problems. There are economic, tech, uh, well, economic and, uh, and uh, in, uh, equality problems, some social problems, uh, and also environmental and health problems related to, to the, these kind of compact settlements. Uh, so, so it's at the same time an opportunity and a problem and we want to sort of tackle all these challenges uh, the problem or actually the challenge here is that none of the, the existing professionals or uh, disciplines can tackle these challenges alone so this is why we want to uh, combine urban studies and planning in one one single program that's right and that's why we really plan to teach together we have had both uh, joined both national and international projects and some uh, uh, lecture series and uh, single courses together but in this new program we'll be sitting there with the students several professors in each of the lectures and really uh, teach and learn jointly about the, the perspectives of different disciplines Uh, I think why to choose USD program? We've been already saying <laughs> pretty much of that. Would you like to add something else? Should we just basically, move basically it? We can go on because that's actually what we were talking about. That's right. And again, just like this Helsinki. So you, you, you have the ability to see this later on, so we are not uh, going through all of the text. That's right. Now in this presentation. That's right. And we might add a few pictures of the beautiful, it looks beautiful from the window with the snow on ground uh, into our presentation. So about back now to the to the master's program. So we are thinking, and Kimo, maybe you would like to co continue on, on, on this one, but we've been planning that program where the intake is 60 students to have three different study lines and would you like mm. to take it from there so we uh sort of uh, majors uh these study lines but they, the idea is not to divide the program into uh, three different categories or three different programs but to uh, to have some common activities but also some specialization so uh, the first is about uh, planning and design and the second one is about people and peoples, different groups of people in cities. And the third one is about systems. Uh, the disciplines that there are, the core disciplines, you could say, behind this program are from University of Helsinki. We have the professors of urban sociology and other social sciences, uh, urban geography, and again, other uh, parts of geography, uh, environmental sciences in, in general, especially those professors who are uh, researching urban e ecosystems and ecology, and then the Faculty of Humanities, and from there we have the urban history uh, presented very, very uh, clearly in this, or strongly in this program. And from Aldo's side, we have architecture, uh, mm. Uh, professors from the Department of Architecture, 
and landscape architecture from the same de uh, department and urban and regional planning as well. And then we have a group of professors from design, which is one of the best um, uh, departments in the world. Again, uh, 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 greatly involving teaching in our, our program, as well as real estate economics and urban economics. So from social to economics through planning and design would be the core uh, disciplinary base of uh, this program. Okay, well, uh, urban planning is an attempt to uh, make changes in cities and to somehow to manage what's happening in cities. Uh, the design, the idea of, of to do something, to design or to plan what's happening uh, is uh, based on a belief that there is a possibility to make an input to the, to the urban system. So we have been educating planners, urban and regional planners, urban designers, uh, architects, designers, uh, already here in university for a long time in, in the former universities. Uh, and what we want to do now is to, to address, uh, to use uh, more research-based knowledge in, in the planning and design, but also to, to involve other disciplines in, in this study line, not only architects and landscape architects, but also uh, spatial service and strategic designers working together in the, with the other study lines. People make the city actually uh, not just physical things or spaces, and it's very important now to, to be able to understand how people are using the city and what are their sort of social and cultural, physical uh, requirements and, and uh, how they how they really uh, react and then adapt to the city which we are creating through physical uh, infrastructure and, and buildings. Uh, there are, as mentioned, a lot of problems but also possibilities of a, of a new multicultural and, and innovative uh, city life and that is something we are much interested in and, and try to understand. And then again, systemic thinking is a uh, basic uh, sort of mindset which we need to have nowadays. We just cannot uh, consider that we are designing and building the city uh, like that, uh, like a blueprint. We need to understand how what we do as an input can influence the city as systems, not only, uh, only uh, technical systems, but also ecological systems. And, and also different sort of social and cultural systems which are affecting the, the urban development. That's right. And uh, as Kimmo already mentioned, um, there's a draft of the, of the uh, study program. So the, they are preliminary courses. Some of the names will still change, but we created this figure for this webinar to show you the, the composition of, um, of these different study lines. lines. But as, as Kim already said, the first year, if you start from the bottom, which is colored black, in these three study lines, it's all shared. So we have very beautiful locations for this master's program. It's not the typical program where students would go and listen to different lectures, but rather we have two spaces, one in downtown Helsinki, uh, among the um, uh, within the University of Helsinki and one in Aalto, where the, the group of students will work together, where they will listen to their introduction to urban studies and planning lecture or event series, and where they also will have uh, um, uh, classes on research methods and urban GIS, so analytical um, way of approaching uh, different cities. And on top of that we will have a first urban laboratory where us professors will work jointly. There will be at least 20 professors joining in in different groups. Many of the days there will be five to ten professors maybe sitting at the same time or some in the morning and late and others in the afternoon to really walk through and, and work in the laboratory uh, urban laboratory with the students. And in addition, we will have 
uh, firms, um, uh, different municipal actors joining us into these uh, studio-like studio uh, spaces where you as students would then uh, be working throughout the first half of a year. And during the first, um, after the first semester, during the, the spring semester, we will have a hell of an impact studio, which means that we'll create the studio and find the problems together with the cities in this region to really tackle something that is not only universal, but also locally researchable uh, to understand um, both practically and theoretically the processes behind behind the, the, the current or selected uh, urban uh, phenomena. In the people's line, then there are possibilities to take urban sociology, urban economics, and different um, uh, Helsinki from history to products, showing how the city has, has changed. Uh, those types of courses in the plans we will have design for urban governance. governance. Uh, the designers are already working with the prime minister's office, and they will introduce the similar type of class where we are all, um, or some of, some of the teachers are teaching together to understand the urban governance, both theoretically as well as practically, and so on. You, you can read those uh, details in there. And finally, urban systems where we will definitely benefit of the open data that is provided, it's well world known in Helsinki to really get to the digital urban and, and to the systematic phases, what Kimmo just said. And there's just one example of a detailed discussion of one course that we wanted to provide to you to, to see how it's uh, done and again to, to notice, for instance, that there will be a variety of teachers within all of these these classes. And maybe a few words on the studio scheme, or if you... The studio, uh, and the, the two studios are actually uh, very uh, crucial, very central in this program, because that is something which uh, students don't always have the experience with uh, several teachers from different disciplines and also students from dif different disciplines. The idea is really to start from a challenge or from an analysis of a city or, a, or a, an urban um, problem or, or a theme and then go into study and do something with it. It can be a design or plan uh, for planners, it can be a policy for social, uh, social scientists, it can be, can be something else related or depending on uh, the, uh, the background of the students, but also their interests. So we are creating uh, visions, so we are creating uh, methods of how to deal with these uh, urban problems, which are informed uh, by, by science, by research from, di from these different disciplines. And so, so the idea is to develop a creative understanding of these problems and, and sort of innovative solutions also. And I would say that the teachers would be, who have been, or the professors who have been planning this, the core group is really excited mm -hmm. to start working together as well. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll be in the studio waiting for you already before the applicants are selected to the program. Uh, about the thesis. Yes. Finally, finally, uh, the program, as, as usually, uh, is, is uh, finished with a thesis. And the idea here is, uh, unlike usually when you're doing it alone or when you're doing it uh, sort of, uh, um, perhaps from a subject which is uh, chosen or perhaps uh, you are employed in some firm also, in this case, uh, we uh, try to uh, uh, instruct and, and help you also in, in an inter interdisciplinary way. So you are going to have uh, these two or, or three uh, supervisors from different disciplines helping you to form an interdisciplinary hall with your thesis. And also this is connected to your earlier studies and earlier projects and studios where you uh, should try to find something which is of your interest and, and the group with which you will be working.
That's right. And the form can be very typical research uh, based scholarly research thesis, or it can be a design or a plan. So there mm. will be a variance within the program, mm. also in the format of, of uh, your thesis. And as you probably have noticed, that you can graduate as a Master of Science or Architect. So there are a variety of uh, professional degrees and, and, uh, and the university degrees which you can choose, which also then uh, uh, allow different types of uh, final yes, thesis the idea, projects. Yes, the idea is not to make all of you same or having no. the same kind of expertise, but to, to develop your own special expertise together with others also in your in your final thesis. Yes. And uh, the structure is there just for you to notice. I don't mm -hmm. think we need to go on this. It's very typical core skills, specialization, studios, electives, and the master's mm -hmm. thesis. And, um, and we discussed about the possible degrees. So master of science, master of arts, master of social sciences from the university size, side, and then from all the university degrees, you can become a Master of Science in Technology, uh, Master of Science in Architecture, Landscape Architecture, or Master of Arts, which means then design. And um, an, an important uh, sort of special uh, thing which uh, we need to inform you that uh, this program is starting in 2017 in the autumn already. Uh, but uh, for administrative reasons, uh, the, in, in 2018, students are taken, or new students are taken uh, to, to University of Helsinki, and also uh, all, only people from the existing programs from other university are coming into it. But uh, from that on, uh, from uh, 2018, uh, you can apply to both of the universities and come come as part of the common program. That's right. And uh, and of course, we offer uh, postgraduate study, op study opportunities in the research uh, projects and uh, different doctoral programs in both of the universities. So there is a link either to uh, uh, the, the programs in our universities or then to abroad. And uh, this is the last slide, I guess, where we would like to finish us showing the professors and teachers who clearly are the leading experts in their fields. Uh, uh, and as, as you can say, see, there are the disciplines that we already went through uh, and uh, really excited, uh, hardworking uh, people from both of our universities who've been well, working together enormously, I have to say, to get this new novel, uh, uh, special and high level program ready for you to start in less than a year. Thank you. Thank you. I think we are done with our part now. Mari and Kimo, thank you very much. And now it's time to give the floor to Lena. But before we do so, I know for a fact that the presenters have uh, prepared a video about the admissions process, which I'm about to play. But before I do, actually, I would just like to remind you that you can set your audio levels uh, for the video on your system locally. So I, go, I hope you guys enjoy. And we'll be back to, to Lena in about 2 minutes and 15 seconds. So here we go.
So a lovely video prepared for from uh, the faculty members of the University of Helsinki. And telling you a bit more uh, will be now uh, Lena Rintala. Just allow me to pass the floor on to you. And Lena, you can take it from here. Hello again from the admissions. Uh, I'll tell you briefly about the admissions, uh, about the application process. So uh, the basic uh, application requirements are so you need to have an appropriate bachelor's degree and English language proficiency and check the country specific requirements for application documents. Uh, the application period starts from the December 1st and ends uh, January 12th. And the results are available in April and the studies begin in autumn 2017. Uh, we have a scholarship program uh, uh, for this uh, urban studies and planning, the tuition fee for <coughs> citizens of uh, outside European Union or EEA countries is 15,000 euros per academic year. But we have a, a scholarship program um, and you can do the application uh, for scholarship uh, uh, at the same time online simultaneously with your online application to the University of Helsinki. No extra documents are needed. And there are four different categories for scholarship programs. Uh, a, amount of the whole tuition fee and living cost grant of 10,000 euros. B, amount of the whole tuition fee. C, half of the amount of the tuition fee and the living cost around 10,000 euros. Um, and if you have any questions, you can see um, the Hel University of Helsinki's web pages, and there you will find more detailed information about the application process. And you can also send us an email to the admissions at helsinki.fi and we will find you the answers then. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Lena, to you as well. And I believe that we've come to the part where our audience can participate, where you guys can submit questions through the Q&A panel. And I know for a fact that we already have a few submitted. Uh, I believe it's... Uh, Okay, if we pick up Tam's first question, uh, and she would like to know uh, which department is hosting the program in UH? Um, it's, well, I'm from the Department of, um, of um, Geography, and, uh, and, the pro and I'm the, the chair of the program, so I guess it's me, but basically it's a very joint uh, program at the University of Helsinki between four different faculties. So you can graduate as a Master of Science or, or in Humanities or in, in um, Environmental Sciences or then Master of Social Sciences from the Faculty of uh, Social Sciences. So the hosting department is not an issue in this program as it is in many other programs. We have two universities and to kind of several institutional players, but our administration is great and, and it functions completely perfectly, perfectly uh, and it doesn't rely on any department's facilities. But geography is where I am and in a way formally it's now in the Department of Geography in our university. Thank you very much, Mari. Tom's next question is, uh, how is the program related to the research program in urban studies by faculty of social science named uh, REMS? Uh, um, I'm, I'm not, there, there will be professors actually overload of offers from the faculty of social sciences. Uh, we have about 20 different um, 
suggestions for different approaches to urban studies from different pro uh, professors. So one particular research program can be there more or less actively, but again, we don't have too many lecture series taught by one or two scholars, but rather the multi multidisciplinarity of studies and teachers, it usually from both of the uni universities, from Aalto, from University of Helsinki will be present. So none of the major research um, uh, uh, programs have a major role in the program, but there will be very many, and there will be many because we really have the leading experts joining our program uh, uh, coming uh, to be present at, at uh, some moderate uh, form. Thank you again, Mari. Actually, before addressing uh, the next question in the Q&A, uh, we also have a few questions for today's audience members. And I just opened a poll with two uh, short questions. If you would like to get more information on some aspects of the program, that one being common based is where you can specify what you would like to get more information on. And if by any chance you're already planning on applying to this program. So thank you very much in advance for giving us the feedback. Just make sure that you do submit your questions. You should find the submit button on the bottom right hand corner within that panel. Otherwise, your uh, efforts will be lost. Of course, you can still submit your questions through the Q&A. And we do have a question from Tam uh, asking if there are any programs, uh, is there any program for minor studies? Um, currently, as uh, the University of uh, Minor Study, what, uh, do I understand right? The minor study is that, that can there be a minor taken from another pro program? Is that what uh, the person is asking about? I'm guessing that that is what Tam is asking. Otherwise, we can ask Tam to further elaborate. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. Yeah, Thank so you. There will be very many, um, you are currently planning all the programs, the master's programs in the University of Helsinki are, Helsinki are renewed. And we have discussed uh, between several other master programs of joint classes or electives. So that they are asking what do we give to other programs as electives. And in return, they are providing us some elective classes. And I could easily say that there are at least 10 different master's programs from which students that work or study in our master's programs can select elective classes. And that is the case both in Aalto University, I assume, as well and for sure in the University of Helsinki. So for instance, in my own department, we also have a master's program in, in geography. We have a master's program in ecology, but the multi multidisciplinary program combining research, urban studies, and planning and design will be, this will be the only one which has been built on that, that way. But as uh, usually the students are free to move, we definitely don't limit their movement, although we want to keep you all together for the first half of the year to ensure the really the, the approach for all the different study lines to work uh, together. Thank you once again, Mari. Uh, I have three questions submitted uh, through the chat panel. Uh, I wouldn't want to miss them, so here it goes. The first one is from Adnan, sort of a broad one, but I think it's a good question. Adnan is asking, what is the future of urban town planning? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> Great after this program. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I, I would say that <clears throat> um, town planning or urban planning and urban regional planning, they need to change at the moment. They have a sort of great history, but they need to be more informed uh, by urban studies. And uh, I, I sincerely believe that this is going to be the future of, of planning. Uh, planning cities uh, from now on because uh, it's so com complex, cities are so complex systems that you really need to have an understanding of, of them. And you can also understand them through design and planning. So actually the, it goes both ways. 
and, and this is really the reason why such a program has been made together. So to, be, to make a more informed planners and designers and architects, and also to give the opportunity for researchers in, in the traditional disciplines and sciences to influence how cities are developed. Thank you very much, Gimo. And then Artem would like to know if you use progressive methodology like space syntax in researches. I think we have even, I would say, more progressive um, uh, methodology. We we definitely have the best experts from from the digital urbanities. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have all the slides here. We will we'll provide them later. But the, the really leading experts with big data and, and the most advanced uh, modeling. So I think you can specialize on those as far as you can go. And I think that's... We, we've been addressing the multidisciplinarity of the program, but at the same time, as we get 20 experts, we will get the variety of expertise in different methods as well, so that it's not one professor who tries to cover several methods, but we'll get the leading experts from whether it's space syntax or advanced uh, multi-level modeling or in-depth interviews really to provide them in the methods. And that's one of the basic research, uh, reasons why we picked the methods class to be already in the very early phases uh, for everyone compulsory with the variety of, uh, of uh, knowledge and wisdom provided through that. Thank you very much. And I believe that the next question uh, would also be aimed to you, Mari, or to Kimo, more than to Lena. We have Adnan and Mocht, uh, actually Faisal, asking if uh, civil engineering students are eligible to apply. Yes, they are eligible yes. to apply. Yes. As we mentioned in, in these degrees which are offered, we have a master's degree in, in, uh, in technology, and this can be uh, used as as the final degree which students uh, are earning from this program. So the students are, are actually seeking different degrees, and there are some requirements in certain of the degrees like architectural, landscape architecture, because they are all at the same time professional degrees. But we are cooperating with uh, urban and real estate economics, and that's uh, uh, something which is in in the, the engineering school of Alta University. So, yes. Thank you very much, Kimo. And then I believe the next question from Paul is actually for Lena. Paul would like to know how many scholarships are available for the master's program? Um, it's not decided yet. It depends on uh, on the how many applica applicants there are. Uh, roughly about 30. I would say, but that's not uh, not yet. The final number. The final number. Mm -hmm. And then Paul is also asking if you could do a breakdown according to full, half, and partial scholarships, and also what is the minimum score to qualify for the program. He has a 2.2 degree class in civil engineering. Um, so, well, uh, um, it's not yet decided uh, about the uh, categories, how many are in which categories, the scholarships. Mm -hmm. But um, which one was uh, uh, the last part of the question? I can't remember yet anymore. Um, what is the minimum yeah. score to qualify for the program? He has a 2.2 degree class in civil engineering. I think we have to uh, sort of explain a little bit because the system of tuition fees and the scholarships is quite new in Finnish universities. So these mm -hmm. are actually the first programs where these are applied. And this is why many of the issues related to these are not yet decided in, in either of the universities involved in this program. So unfortunately, we cannot answer specifics about about these two issues. We you, we we could tell you about the, the uh, tuition fee, but not about the scholarships yet, because they are still under under construction. Thank you very much, Kimo. Uh, let's see. Uh, then we have a question uh, from Tam. If a student from, uh, can a student from other program join this program for a minor degree, which usually takes 30 credits for the minor study? 
we are currently we are mainly building this program for the students entering this program and uh, that's our core of course but we do provide as I said that there are very many other master's programs interested in our program and also uh, offering their courses as electives to our students so we will get some of the classes offered as a minor to students uh, uh, to take but we haven't decided yet because the intake will be maximum 60 people that which of the classes will be in such a format that we can then add uh, students there so that is still slightly bit uh, moving but for sure there will be courses whether it's 20 credits or, or 30 credits remains to be seen for others uh, to take as as a minor class thank you very much Mari for clarifying and then we have more of a comment comment coming in from Reza and what I'm guessing is uh, if the next uh, interest he's interested in travel demand management in freight transportation in public transit, sustainable transportation, and policy and evaluation. And I'm guessing the question here would be, are those uh, subjects that are discussed during your master's program? Well, I just participated 72 hour class on, um, on um, uh, public transportation or transportation modes to the Helsinki region. A, a very exciting, um, exciting theme but I, I would say still that they are definitely discussed uh, as it's a core issue in urban area is the, the accessibility and and uh, and um, and all that but there will be other programs that are targeting for instance in Alta University more on on uh, mobility and transportation than ours so it won't be the core of the program as you already can see from the disciplines that are joining in uh, in some of the su urban systems classes where there is a digital urban and all that the mobility issue will be definitely in a bigger role but in the whole of the program it wouldn't be fair to say that it has a major role but as an element of urban development, it definitely has has a role. Thank you once again, Mari. Uh, before taking Marian's question, I would like to remind our audience that there is still a poll underway, which you can find in the polling panel, should be beneath Q&A and beneath chat to the right of the platform. Uh, and I see that some of you are still in the progress. Quite a few of you have finished it. But to those of you that are in the progress, just make sure that you click on the submit button Otherwise, your efforts in filling it out will be lost. Now, let's see the question from Mariam. Is, what is the world ranking of the University of Helsinki? The world ranking? Yes. Uh, there are so many ranks that, um, that um, uh, it's, uh, it's difficult, difficult to say exactly, but it usually is between 50 to 100. And for instance, the geography, which is kind of the host department, we were among the best 50 uh, geography departments last year. I haven't checked the ranks this year, but we definitely are ranked um, among the best ones. And Aalto University in some of the fields, for instance, design is among the, the six best uh, faculties or, the, or departments uh, globally. Some others are in a slightly bit lower rank, but Aalto is, is ranking very well in in the global international rankings as well and i think those exact details are easily available in in internet as as well but we definitely are prestigious globally well-known institutions and i'm guaranteeing that from those we do have the best teachers joining this particular uh, program that we've been creating the last year thank you once again mari we have another question from Tam. Tam, you don't have to be sorry. This is uh, your chance to ask as many questions as you wish. This is the whole purpose of today's uh, Q&A session in the webinar. But nonetheless, Tam would like to know if the course selection will be available on Webudi, I hope I pronounced that correctly, or do the students register directly? Um, Usually, uh, you mean that uh, technically how to uh, how they are uh, applying to courses, 
that would be the question. Yes. First, you need to apply to the program, and then then the courses which are part of the program. We are using all the systems in both universities to to enroll yourself to the courses. But this is, uh, I would still like to add that, uh, as said, the first year, first half year is compulsory shared classes, one location or two locations, physical spaces where we do collaborate and cooperate and teach, lecture, have the laboratories and, and so on. So this is not a typical program where I would say typical Finnish program where I've been involved uh, during the last 20 years almost where there's a lecturer and a class but rather there is a program that runs in, in within the same uh, premises for five days a week the schedule will be there as well but and you don't pop in and go out but rather the whole team of students and teachers will work jointly so it's a bit different type of start, and thereafter we will start with the electives and some variants, as as uh, you will be able to see in the slides in the program, uh, in between the different study lines that there are. Thank you very much, Mari. And then Reza would like to know if there are any opportunities uh, for the students to pursue a PhD or a postdoc. In, in both universities, surely, but after they finish the, the uh, master's program, you can apply, as, as you saw in the slide, you can apply to one of the, the doctoral programs of, of either university. Mm. So, so depending on your field, this is quite possible as a kind of continuing from your master's. Yeah, and for instance, me and Kimo, we are both heavily involved in the PhD education. Uh, sitting in all possible boards of um, of PhD studies and doctoral programs and and all that, so so we are very aware and uh, capable of uh, advising the students who wish to continue in doctoral uh, uh, programs what to do and and how to specialize and get the qualifications uh, to that. As are all the other teachers as yeah. well. There are also many, many postdoc researchers in our universities. These are specially usually uh, recruited. They can be part of a pro project or they can be sort of uh, hired to the to the departments. But this is a sort of uh, something which you should be. Uh, you, should, you can see it from the web pages of the universities when they are open. Thank you very much. Something just came in. Mm -hmm. Reza is saying that he has his master's degree and is interested in a PhD or a postdoc. Uh, if we would cover something within the webinar, is he asking? Well, it's, it's an, um, perhaps outside uh, this master's program, but as uh, I really? said, uh, so uh, we are not having a doctor program uh, directly related to this, but uh, continue, continuing from this to in, in each of the fields. Uh, represented here is always possible. So we have a specific um, so deadlines for these applications to the doctoral program uh, in, in, in our universities it's once uh, once or in our school actually in our doctoral program of, of, of architecture art and design it's, it's uh, in March March uh, in, in the spring term. And in the University of Helsinki, I'm actually the, the vice chair of DENVI, which is a doctoral program of a multidisciplinary doctoral program. And uh, they have their own websites where, where many of these fields that are in our program are already present. So there, there's another line to search for, for those ones, but you do end up with the same people in, in many of them. And actually, Reza is thanking you for your help with this uh, topic. Uh, perhaps, yes, it would be best to discuss this offline. Uh, Reza, rest assured, your uh, details will be forwarded to the faculty members, and you guys can discuss perhaps you pursuing a PhD offline and not not today, as this is a webinar for the master's program. So let's see what just came in from Adnan. If there are any achievements or practice uh, practical work by the professors in this field who will be teaching the program? Oh, there are loads, <laughs> I, I, I would say. Uh, I think, as you can see, we haven't started yesterday. Um, maybe I could say from myself, myself of this being an urban one, um, 
I was uh, given the most prestigious um, uh, medal of honor, golden medal by the mayor of, of Helsinki or the city of Helsinki of the work in urban studies, which is uh, non-academic, but the highest honor that the city of Helsinki can, can give to anyone. And uh, together with our rector, I got this excellent prize just uh, last summer. So I think we all have uh, just lists. I think we should maybe list uh, the achievements and the projects and all that, or or actually you can find them in the in the web pages if you search for the staff that there there is. Uh, 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 would there be some highlights? Because again, I would also like to say that there are faculty members joining from so many different faculties that um, it's hard to nominate. Yes, and actually, of course, there are since there are different disciplines, some of them are more concentrated on on research and and, and publications, research publications, and some of them are more practical. So we have in in Aalto University, of course, many of the professors they are also practicing in 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 their fields, and so having many kind of projects together with with for instance cities. And I believe we have the last question. We could uh, wrap up the session after taking on Paul's question. Uh, perhaps uh, would be greatly beneficial to all. Uh, are there a lot of opportunities in Finland for graduates of this program? Moreover, are graduates allowed to stay behind and look for employment in Finland after finishing the masters? Well, this is of course uh, considering that uh, urban uh, development is a very important part of part of uh, of this or actually in the center of this uh, of this program and the problems are so clearly understood by the cities and the regions so the the it is quite possible to to stay in finland this is of course dependent on 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 your whether it's a student visa we cannot say anything about that at the moment but uh, basically uh, uh Working in Finland in different uh, for different institutions is possible. It's not not all of them require, for instance, the Finnish language. And we've been already collaborating with the with the mayors in this city region, discussing about the possible and other other public officials uh, telling about this program, asking about the possibility to do some practicals within the cities. And I would say that they all very much as well as construction companies, planning offices and all that, look forward this type of new, well thought, uh, multidisciplinary professional master's degree program uh, to start. And I, I, I do hope and, and, and would like to say that I'm sure that there will be possibilities for the students to get employed also in this growing and fast, uh, uh, well, fast growing uh, within this fast growing city reach. Thank you very much. And on that note, it is time to wrap up the session. Firstly, allow me to thank the attendees today for joining. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure, I am actually, I do apologize. I'm sure that you guys did get the necessary information for studying the uh, urban uh, studies and planning at the University of Helsinki. And I believe it's safe to say that uh, on behalf of the university, we sure hope that some of you are already considering in applying. So thank you very much for your participation. And of course, it's time to thank uh, today's lovely panel of three. Mari and Kimo, thank you very much for sharing your expertise and your time. And of course, not to forget Lena, uh, who was sharing her experience, uh, actually her uh, admissions knowledge. So thank you to all three of you. Perhaps any closing comments you might have before we say goodbye? Well, thank you very much. This has been a very, very good session, in my opinion. This. Yes, and uh, jo join us. We hope that you've been able, we've been able to convince that um, that this really is a dream come true from a single disciplinary perspective who's been worrying about urban futures and now has the chance to work with experts from 10 different fields to at least try to tackle them from the core. Yes, and tell your friends also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and thank you also on my behalf. 
And please remember that um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at the admission of uh, services. Uh, email address was the admissions at helsinki.fi. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. This is Simon wishing you a good morning, perhaps a good afternoon or a good evening from wherever you may be. Thank you to all for joining and goodbye.